Here's the latest build, this is the uh, 3 kilowatt Vero 29 build, uh, 5 pairs of uh, 600 watt units. Uh, these will be based around our standard extrusion heatsink material that we're familiar with and know the properties of. Uh, always good to stick with what you know which in this instance we'll be using in there four, four foot, one metre twenty lengths. This one has already been pre-drilled, or well, I've already pre-drilled it, pre-drilled and tapped for the, uh, the cobs. These are the monsters that we use in this time. This is the Vero 29 from Bridge Lux. These are 80 watt behemoths. And we've got 4,000 Kelvin and 2,700 Kelvin, vice versa, one way around. Uh, half, half and half. Alright, okay, so let's change that. Alright, here's one I prepared earlier. So that gives you the detail of the cob spacing and apart from the uh, six holes for the cobs we have uh, two threaded holes for the frame in the centre, two threaded holes front and rear for the frame and we have three wire through holes for the cables to go through. In addition to this we're using these standard 80mm Arctic cooling fans. Nice, reliable fan. And the beauty of these is that if you screw the, uh, the mounting screws in but leave them just a little proud, they're a beautiful snap fit. And these just quite nicely snap place on there or you can slide them into place. Oh, okay, where was I before I was disturbed? Yeah, so these slot on here quite nicely. If you adjust that the screws just right, they slot into that channel. Just in case so I don't slide the iron open. Here's an old jumper. Filming here. Thank you. Sorry. So heat sinks, cobs, uh, just some little plastic junction boxes to go on the chassis, some alley extrusion, and of course our bright star LED drivers from our Chinese suppliers. These things are just superb for the price. That's really hard to uh, Really hard to argue with that sort of half the cost of main wells equivalent. Uh, it would be nice if they came with a bit longer leads on them, but can't have everything. Uh, so yeah, we basically assembled two of those. Two of those off onto a frame. And obviously we need mains leads on the end. And then we have our 36 volt rail and our 10 volt dimming rail. Okay, well, that's the parts list. Oh yeah, and of course we need a, a loom made up for the fans. These are just three uh, computer PWM leads and they are daisy chained so the positive and negative of the central one goes the positive goes to the negative of the right hand one and the negative goes to the positive of the left hand one and then the two remaining unused positive and negatives are your feed and what that does is it divides our 36 volts from our lighting circuit into uh, across the three fans basically giving us a 30 volt 36 volt fan circuit 
So it depends on how much you use. 12 volt fans on a 36 volt circuit. So let's get these soldered up. Prepared. Okay, so I've got the pre tinned wires heat shrink on them to protect them from the uh, the hole and the sharp edges. Okay then, so then we just put one way go on the back one. And one, 
two, three, roughly. silent, beautiful. Six fans spinning, six lights lit, six hundred watts. And even with these small fans on this, this runs absolutely stone cold in service. Uh, I do plan on uh, thermistor protecting this by putting a thermistor between these uh, dimming. Oh, Gordon, you're going to want a money shot, aren't you? Here's the money shot. Break the camera. Yeah, those things are insane. There you go. There's the money shot. Outrageous. 3000 watt array, one unit. 